Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to fit a hood defector to the front of your Ford Transit van. Please subscribe and please share, and don't forget to check out the description below the video as there may be something down there that may interest you. Now, the first part of the video is me going through unboxing showing you what you get for your money. The second part is me going basically right the way through from start to finish, fitting it for you. Not literally fitting yours, but fitting mine. Ha <laughs> ha, you thought I was gonna have you on that, didn't you? Yeah, no, I'm not doing your fitting. You'll have to fit it yourself. It's an important job, guys, that you've got two of you, not just the one. You need someone to hold it, really. But you get my drift. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. <laughs> Right, can you guess what we got in here? Let's open her up and have a look. Well, there we go. It's for the front of my transit van. Hopefully that's only the package in there, but that looks pretty scuffed to me. And on the edges. See? Look. And just here. And this is from vanstyle.co.uk. I've just phoned the seller, a uh, very nice guy, and he said, if I remove the wrapper from the bonnet protector, uh, just to see if the scratches are right the way down into the material. So we'll take the wrap off. Yeah, some marks in there. I don't know if you can see them under, under the light. not until you see something like this and you realize that uh, there's lots of specks in it. There we go. So let's see what comes in the kit. So we've got instructions. At least they got pictures to follow. So these stick to your van. Well, sticks to the back spoiler and then that goes onto your bonnet. And these basically clip on to under your bonnet. They've got some nice little soft bits so it's not damaging anything. And screws. And these are your little double-sided sticky bits to stick on here. And that's your little screws in the covers. And now for fitting the defector. First thing you want to do is wash off your bonnet. I'm using snow foam. This is great for a bit of lubrication. Let that draw for a bit and there you can rinse that off. Now you've rinsed that off, you can now wash down the panel. And now give that a further rinse. As your vehicle's like mine, nice and clean, it's easier to clean off anyway. I will now dry that down.
makes much more sense giving it a good clean first. Right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to do a test fit. Now, as I'm on my own, I'm going to be using tape as my second person. So what I've done is taped the tape to the defector and then I'll stick this to the bonnet. It's much easier working in twos. And what I'm doing this for is now I'm going to mark up the holes with some tape. This just makes it easier for your plastic brackets. Right then, we'll remove the defector. Now I'm using some paint protection film so the little plastic brackets go over the plastic film. This is just helps from scratching your vehicle. Or if you don't care, don't use it. And now what we're gonna do is just install the plastic brackets. All these do is clip straight over the plastic film push on and just push them until they go click same again just hook it in push it up click and do that with all of them Now you get your defector and place it on and all you need to do is line up all your screws and you can move your plastic brackets slightly and just install your first two screws in the middle. And once again do the same on the ends. Don't tighten them fully at this present moment in time because you may need a little bit of plyness to fit your little plastic mushrooms. Right, now you're fitting your plastic mushrooms. This is double-sided tape and you can place these wherever you like. And this is why you leave your screws slightly loose so you can get your hand under. And check in, they're all in. Uh, I'll get this one in. Right, and now we'll tighten up all the screws. And on top of these, you put your little plastic covers, the little black ones, and they just literally just clip over the top of them. There you go, they just push down over the top. They're almost like registration number plate screws. And you've got those little plastic clips. And once you've installed them, if you want to put a bit of polish on the defector, it just helps. So if you get stones or flies stuck to it, it makes it easier for them to come off. And this is the underside of the bonnet. 
you can see the little plastic clips you can see how easy they are they just clip over the top very simple job if you've got two of you right and we'll just pop the bonnet down it's as simple as that and what a great job that looks well there you go guys wasn't that easy okay i had to rely on tape to hold it on and the sods law when i was filming it was raining and you could hear all the rain come down on the roof of my carport so you won't have that problem if you're outside in that beautiful sunshine and you think to yourself yep that's cool we're outside and we'll get the job done between two of you please subscribe and please share and don't forget to check out the description below the video as there may be something down there that may interest you and we'll see you again very shortly on the crazy baker channel laters this is the crazy baker channel baking lifestyle recipes reviews i am the crazy baker please subscribe and please share laters